having fun with the Canon 8mm to 15mm f4L fisheye lens. I bought the Canon fisheye lens a few years back and for a long time I barely used it. After reading about this lens and then seeing the photo pool on Flickr, I bought this lens on a whim, used it a few times and then put it on the shelf where it sat collecting dust. I struggled getting the types of photos I wanted with the fisheye lens so I basically gave up. A few months back I hit a brick, bit of a brick wall and needed some inspiration to get my photography juices flowing again and I thought having a play with the fisheye lens may be just a ticket. As I'm sure you've already guessed, I gave the Canon fisheye lens a dust, blew off the cobwebs and took it on a two week trip to Ireland. The fisheye lens is a specialist lens with a 180 degree field of view that is primarily used to create distorted photos. There is a common misconception that you either love or hate the fisheye effect and that it, there is no middle ground. Well, in my experience, and after owning and using a fisheye lens, I have to say this isn't quite true. I am not a fan of the fisheye effect when taking photos of buildings and architecture as the converging lines effect is too strong for my liking. I do, however, like the fisheye effect, albeit a, a weak one, when taking photos of landscapes and nature. Before I resurrected my fisheye lens, I found my landscape shots were all becoming too similar and the same. Whilst the locations were different, the photos were starting to look very alike, which wasn't very good. Taking landscape shots with a fisheye lens, I can add a little bit of distortion to give an entirely new perspective, and this has got my creative juices flowing once more. With the Canon 8mm to 15mm fisheye lens, I have the option for full circular fisheye photos or linear fisheye photos, and I can add as much or as little distortion as I like. This fisheye lens is a versatile lens, and it has opened up a whole new photography world. With this lens, I can take uber distorted photos that are quirky, wacky, and not true to life, or I can add the tiniest amount of distortion and capture creative photos that are close to real life, but just have that extra something. I do have one gripe with the fisheye lens, and that is I can't use graduated ND or strong ND filters with it because of the convex shape of the front element. Given that I want to try and capture something different to the norm and keep away from what the crowd are doing, I suppose this isn't such a bad thing. I mean, long exposure photography has really taken off in a big way, and the majority of landscape photos are long exposures using strong ND filters and the rest are perfectly balanced skies and land using graduated ND filters. Maybe my gripe with the fisheye lens is a little unfair. I can use weaker 1 to 4 stop ND filters with my fisheye lens. However, this involves cutting my own ND gels and then placing them in a slot at the rear of the lens. This is not a big task, it's just a bit fiddly and getting the ND gel into position without it getting dust on it. Fingerprints were also a problem, but using white gloves I've found this is now solved. Another huge problem with using ND gels is I have to have them on the lens at all time. I am out with the camera as there is no way I would ever insert one out in the field. The risk of dust on the lens and also the sensor is just a little too high for my liking. If you're stuck in a bit of a rut with your photography and looking for some inspiration, the fisheye lens is something that may, be, may well be up your street and if you shoot a Canon camera, I highly recommend the 8mm to 15mm f4L fisheye lens. If you've reached this far, thanks for taking the time out to do so, and I hope you have found my ramblings useful. Please feel free to like, share or comment on this clip, 